simplifying ratios with fractions and decimals. If we have fractions or decimals in a ratio, we do need to get them to whole numbers. A simplified ratio has the smallest possible whole numbers in it. Three-fifths to one-half. The simplest way to simplify a ratio with fractions is to get them to a common denominator. and then cancel out the denominators. So getting one-half and three-fifths to a common denominator. Our lowest common multiple here will be 10. 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 5. And 2 times 5. So now we've got them both over 10. So remember when I'm simplifying a ratio, I can multiply or divide both sides by the same thing. So in fact, if I multiply both sides by 10, this was 6 divided by 10. So multiplying both sides by 10 will just cancel that out, and I'll get 6 to 5. Get a common denominator, and then cancel the denominators. If you are simplifying and you've got a decimal, you can just change it to a fraction if you'd like. This would be three and a half. You'd want to change any mixed number to an improper fraction. So, you know, we can try it that way if you want. This would be three and a half to one. Uh, that would be seven over two to one get that to a common denominator. This would be 1 over 1, so that has to be 7 over 2 to 2 over 2. So cancel the denominators, I have 7 to 2. It's probably the easiest way of thinking about it. You can always work out what can you multiply the side with the decimal by to get it to a whole number. So at 0.5, of course, you can just multiply both sides by 2. Thinking about it as a fraction is kind of often easier.